make sure you get a grown up to help you hit subscribe. That way, you won't miss out on any of the new videos that come out. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. Today we're gonna to do some science with Ozzy and we're gonna learn how to gain superpowers just like Elsa from Frozen. I'm serious. We're gonna learn how to turn water into ice right before your very eyes. This is called Ozzy's Frozen Superpowers. Now let's start this super ice cool experiment. Now for this experiment, you're gonna need a bottle of water. You're gonna make sure that that's unopened. You're gonna need lots and lots of ice and crushed ice works the best. Then you're gonna need a metal ice bucket, lots and lots of salt, uh, 100 mils of tap water. Then we've also got bits and pieces over here because with that water that we turn into ice, we're gonna try and shape that into a snowman. We're not quite sure how big we're gonna be able to get this ice and how good this snowman's gonna work, but hey, we're gonna give it a go. So let's get stuck in. Now, the first step is to take some of that crushed ice and just pop it at the bottom of that metal ice bucket. Just so it covers the bottom. Okay, then we're gonna need five teaspoons of salt. It's a lot of salt. Five, so much salt. Now, we're gonna take that bottle of water and we're just gonna get that sitting in there like that. Now, we're gonna get some more ice and we're gonna just pack it in all around that bottle. So all around the sides, as much as you can get in there. And once it's almost full, we're gonna put more salt. That's right, so much more salt. So, another five teaspoons. One, and just spread them around. Two, Three. I always get stuck after three. What's after three? Four. Good job, kids. And after four, five. Good job. Okay. Now don't put the salt away just yet, because we need more. We've got 100 mils of water here, and we're gonna put, how many teaspoons do you reckon? Did I hear you say five? five more teaspoons. Five teaspoons. Okay, we're gonna mix that together as much as we can. And then just pour that in around the bottle. Scrape that salt in. Okay, then with whatever ice you've got left over, just jam pack it in there as much ice as you can possibly fit in there. Just keep packing that ice in as much as you can because you want to try and get that bottle as cold as we can get it without it freezing. Okay, so I don't think I can fit any more ice in there. That's ready to go. It just needs to sit there and do its thing for 30 minutes. So we'll come back in half an hour and we'll get stuck into the experiment. So there you go, kids. That bottle has been sitting in that ice bucket for just over half an hour. And at the same time, I've had this plate sitting in the freezer for just over half an hour as well. Now I've brought that out with an ice cube on it because that's what's gonna help us turn this water into ice right before your very eyes. So very carefully, we're gonna pull this bottle out of the ice bucket, trying not to disturb the water inside because we don't want to start that ice freezing reaction too early. So really carefully, now take that lid off. Okay, now we're all ready to turn this water into ice, right before your very eyes. Aussie's frozen superpowers, let's see if it works kids. So really gently, we're gonna pour that onto that ice cube. And look at that, kids. 
Look at that. Look at that. Woo! That is magic. Happening right before your eyes. Look at that, kids. So, with our little bits and pieces over there, we can build ourselves a snowman. I'm just gonna pour a little bit more water on top of that. Look at that, getting nice and tall. Then we can shape it. And add some more on top. Just a bit of magic like that, kids. Look at that. Instant ice. That's pretty fun, isn't it? All right, should we see if we can put some arms on this snowman? Whoa, that's a long arm, isn't it? That's okay. And one arm on the other side. Two big long arms for the snowman. Should we add some more water at the top and see if we can make a head? Let's see what we can do. It's a funny looking head, but it's okay, isn't it? Let's put some eyes on him, shall we? Maybe if we pop that in there like that and then put some more water on it, maybe that'll freeze. That eye into place. Look at that. That's pretty magic, isn't it? We've got a one-eyed snowman, don't we? One-eyed, no-nose snowman. Maybe we should give him another eye. Let's do that. Okay, just gonna pop that there. And we'll do that same thing we did before. Just pour a little bit more water. And look at that. A little snowman just floating around on the plate. Isn't that cool? You could maybe next take some learnings from Ozzy and make his arms a little bit shorter. But kids, that is how you take normal water and freeze it like that with your very own frozen superpowers, just like Elsa. Isn't that awesome? Now, it does look like magic, but of course there is science behind it. I'm a scientist, of course. So the trick to this experiment, kids, is using super cold water just before freezing point. Now, when you add salt to water, that allows the water to go below freezing point without it even freezing. It's super clever. So that's why when we set up this ice bucket, we put heaps and heaps of salt because that allowed that water to go below freezing point, below zero degrees Celsius without actually freezing. Now, when water turns to ice, crystals are formed, but keeping it in the water with salt doesn't allow those crystals to form. So when we open the bottle really carefully and we pour it onto that ice cube, which is super cold, that water instantly starts producing the ice crystals when it hits the cold surface. And that's why it looks like we've got magic superpowers because that water turns into ice crystals and freezes immediately. So kids, that is a super fun experiment. It's a little bit messy and it's super cold, but it's lots and lots of fun. I hope you guys have had some success with your experiment at home. Did you manage to get some eyes and a nose on your snowman? Kids, keep experimenting, keep having fun, keep watching Aussie. We'll see you on the next video. And until then, stay keen. Make sure you get a grown up to help you hit subscribe. That way you won't miss out on any of the new videos that come out. And did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Make sure you look really closely because they're in every single video. And we'll see you again soon. Until then, stay keen. Don't forget to follow Aussie on our social channels at Aussie for Kids. Feel free to send us some ideas on what you want to learn about next. What sports you'd like to play? Jobs you want Aussie to feature? 
vehicles you're fascinated with, or any subjects you'd like to know more about. I'm just as keen as you, so together, let's learn more. And if you've got any friends that you think might like Aussie, don't forget to tell them too. See you next time, kids. Until then, stay keen. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of yours.